if I act weird for any part of this video, it's because I'm exhausted. Hey, it's me, ZigaG, and welcome back to my channel. This week, I am going to be doing Whisper Confession thingy majiggies. So what I'm going to be doing is starting another series and it's just going to be reading Whisper Confessions and if you've seen this before on BuzzFeed, then don't tell them. I'm not stealing their idea. Well, I mean technically I'm stealing their idea, but don't, don't sue me, don't request this to be taken down or whatever. Go watch the BuzzFeed videos of the Whisper Confessions because they, they know what they're doing. I don't. And that's literally it. So let's get right into this. I'm just going to be going on the popular because latest, there's a lot of thirsty people on latest. Like, the second one on latest is any girls need a guy right now. Legit, not kidding. That's the second one. See? It's the second one. It's the second one right there. So we're going to go to popular. Oh my gosh. I just, oh, I wish I had that. Okay, I just saw this and I am surprised. A customer just, oh wait, sorry. Let me start over. A customer told me to lose weight today. Yep. I need to read that again. I'm so tired. I told you. I'm tired. A customer told me to lose weight today. Yep, lady. I will in a month when I have my baby. Shaking my head. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. How can you not tell? When people are pregnant, it's usually just the stomach that gets bigger. Nothing else in their body necessarily gets bigger. Except for their breasts, obviously. But I mean, like, their face doesn't get bigger. Their arms don't get bigger. Their legs don't get bigger. Unless they're, like, gaining weight. But they're just carrying a baby. So only their stomach's gonna get bigger. How would you not be able to tell that they're pregnant? Like, uh, it's kind of obvious if someone's pregnant or not. This one's kind of sad. My eight-year-old son says he doesn't want to be brown anymore. He wants to be white. Told him beauty comes in all colors. America's palette is more, made richer by all its shades. Hold up, my eye is itchy. That's really sad that a little boy doesn't want to be his born skin color. I feel like it's probably because he's getting bullied or something. I mean, obviously, I don't know, because it only says that bit. It doesn't say a whole backstory of the reason why. But I think that's sad that he doesn't want to be his born skin color. I'm happy with my skin color because a lot of people that I know say that they want a tan, and I'm like, I have a natural tan. <laughs> I don't need no tan. My eye is really bothering me. I was grounding coffee today, and I blew into the thing to get the coffee to not be there and I was looking into it instead of closing my eyes and it just flew right in my face. So maybe that's why my eyes bother me, but um, don't blow into coffee grinders because you will get coffee grounds in your eyes and it will hurt and cause you discomfort hours later. Oh my gosh. I like this one. I need a phone case that will shock me when I spend too much time mindless, mindless, mind, mindlessly, I can read browsing social media. I need that too. I am constantly on Twitter and Instagram and I need a phone case or an iPod case to shock me and be like, yo, get off your iPod or phone because you don't, you don't need it anymore. Okay, this next one says, staying the night at somebody's house feels like a mini vacation. I love it. Honestly, I can't do that. Every time I sleep over at someone's house that's not my own, I can never fall asleep. It is so hard for me to fall asleep. Like, the last time I went over to someone's house, I didn't fall asleep until way past midnight, which is so odd for me, because I go to bed at 10.30 every single night. So I went to bed, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. That never happened to me. I could not fall asleep for the life of me. And I don't know if it's because, like, I wasn't on my bed, it wasn't with my pillow, like, the smell's different. I, I don't know, it's just weird. I couldn't fall asleep for, like, so many hours. It was terrible because I woke up extremely early at like six in the morning and I went to bed at one. So five hours of sleep, that's that's not always fun, but it happened. And I don't, it's really hard for me to get comfortable in someone else's house when I'm like so used to mine, but I think that happens to a lot of people, but it, it's not it's not fun when you need sleep. Last one, whenever I do something I regret, I immediately wish I had a time machine. Yes, you don't even understand. I wish I had a time machine to go back on so many things that I regretted, like, Okay, a lot of, I've noticed a lot that I say things before I think about them. Like, I won't even think about anything. I'll just randomly say it. It's just like my brain 
And my subconscious is just like, I'm not going to give you a chance to think about it. I'm just going to go ahead and let you say it. And then you're going to regret that decision. But it won't be my fault because you should have known it was coming. Even though obviously I didn't know it was going to come because it was my subconscious and not my conscious self thinking about it. It just came out and I was like, wait a minute, why did I just say that? That was totally unnecessary. And I can't take it back because it already happened and time machines aren't a thing yet. That will happen one day. I can promise you that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I did and making it. I love Whisper so much. Reading those confessions are really, there's a lot of really ridiculous and funny ones. But I mean, I encourage you, go download the app and go, go read those whispers. They're funny. This video is not sponsored by them whatsoever. I just like the app because people are ridiculous on there. And a lot of times, I just know, I, just, I can just feel it that they're not even telling the truth about the whisper, but they're just saying it for attention. I mean, you know, it is how it is. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below why you didn't so I can try to make my videos better for you guys. My links are down below if you want to do something with them. I, I don't know. They're there if you want to do anything. I've been posting on Snapchat recently, so... If you want to see what I'm doing besides YouTube, which isn't much, then go ahead, Zingy G. It's there. Everything's down there. Subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. I just like when people watch my videos and comment. I love when people comment on the videos because it's just like, yay, people will actually take the time to write something so that I can read it. it makes me happy. All right, so you get... Okay, let's do that one more time. Alright, so I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace.